Hello and welcome to Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. Today we're going to talk about strikes and directions to swing your cane. Now there are several different kinds of strikes you can do. So we're going to go over those in a few minutes. And there's a couple different directions that you can do. Now in these videos I'm going to be showing just certain things each video. I was doing one on the uh, one of the blocks and somebody was like well, I would prefer to do this block, and that's fine. I'm gonna to try to cover all the blocks, so you're gonna see things you like, you're gonna see things you don't like, and that's fine. Just take what you like. If you don't like something, you don't have to worry about it. Now, today I wanna to talk about strikes, and I wanna cover different directions that the cane will be swung. Now, the cane can be swung with one hand, and it can be swung with two. I really don't like myself to swing it with two hands, like a baseball bat, I like this hand, free so I can do something with it. Now your directions when you're swinging a cane, you know, pretty much pretty simple. You have vertical, you have horizontal, and you have diagonal. Now that's when you're swinging it. When you're going to thrust with it, basically you have different ways you're going to hold the cane. Now when you're swinging the cane, again like I said, it can be single hand and it can be double hand. And you're going to go either vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. Most people will swing a weapon at you, they will swing it kind of diagonal, most people will. When you swing vertical at somebody, they can step to one side and the cane might miss them. You swing horizontal to their head, they might duck, you go to their legs, they may jump up. When you're swinging diagonal, if they jump, you're gonna get a bite of them still. If they go to duck, you're still gonna get a bite of them because it's kind of coming like that. Now, when you're swinging vertical, vertical swing can go into the groin if it's coming upward or if they're reaching for you into the arm or elbow. Very hard to try to catch them in the chin, even though you could. Coming down with a vertical strike, the head, collarbone, wrist, elbow, whatever sticking out. Now, horizontal strikes can go to the head, they can go to the body, the ribs, they can go to the legs, knees, shins. If their arms bent, they can go to the arm. <clears throat> now, diagonal can go to the head, collarbone, body, leg, elbow, hand, whatever's sticking out, come across. Now, when you're swinging your cane, you have two sides of your cane you can swing with. You have the tip area that you can swing with and catch them with the lower part of your cane. You also have the horn, where you can swing and catch them with the bigger part of the cane. Now, I'm not gonna get into this video about hooking with the horn. Mainly, I'm talking about striking. So, I'm gonna hit them with the back end or hit them with the side end. Now, <clears throat> when you're striking, that can be used as a long range attacking or defensive. Now, for more in close, you have, which can be, now, a little further away, you can thrust single-handed with this part, and you can also thrust with the horn. Or if they're closer, you can do what's called bayonet strike and thrust with the tip, also thrusting with the horn. Now, we talked about where we're gonna hit them when we're swinging it with the tip or when we're swinging it with the horn. When I'm thrusting, those areas, and remember what I said in my earlier video, prepping the cane, I want to make sure the horn is not going to bite into my clothing or me, so I want the horn away from me when I'm thrusting, whether it's a single thrust or a bayonet strike. Now with a bayonet strike, or even a single thrust, I like to go into the solar plex. You can hit the solar plex, you can hit the stomach. Can I hit the face? Yes, you can, but with a small diameter like this, going up to the face, you're gonna be off of it. Everybody's heard about the five second rule, if you drop a cookie on the ground, it's still good for five seconds, right? Of course. Well, I have a three inch rule. So, if I go for your solar plex, and if I'm three inches off, I'm still gonna bite into you. If I go for your face or throat, if I'm off a little bit, here, here, I might miss, and it might come too much to the side. Now, for the stomach or the solar plex, I do prefer a smaller diameter. It's gonna cause more of an impact. For the face or throat, I would prefer the horn 
because it's a bigger radius, it's gonna catch more. So if I'm gonna to hit to the face with a bayonet strike, I prefer to go just above the teeth, under the nose. You know, the hair, the mustache area, it's gonna bite hard into them, or the throat. Don't want to go for the top of the head because it could hit and skim off. Now, can I hit in the solar plex with this? Absolutely, it's gonna hurt, but because it's a bigger, wider area, it may not catch them as solid and as hard as more of a smaller area that's gonna go right in. Can I catch to the groin? Absolutely, I can still hit to the pelvic area, boom. So that's what's good with the bayonet strike. Now, we also have what we call a rifle strike. Remember, we swung the cane and we hit with this side, we swung and we hit with this side. We thrusted with this side, the tip, and we thrusted with the horn. Well, we still have the center of the cane, the shaft where we can do a strike and catch somebody right in the throat. And we call it a rifle strike here. We can catch them in the throat. We can catch them just above the teeth, right below the nose and cause damage. Or we can hit them, in, if we just want to push them off, hit them in the chest or stomach area and knocking them back. Now, if they're sideward angle with a rifle strike, I'm going to catch them in the ribs, kidneys. With a bayonet strike, same thing, ribs or kidneys. So those are your kind of strikes and thrusts. Remember, you have thrusting, you have swinging. Again, you have horizontal, you have vertical, and you have diagonal with either side. Thrusting, you have straight in, small area, good for the solar plex, large area, good for the face or throat. Rifle strike, using the shaft center area, boom, into the face, our body, our side, into the kidneys. So those are your thrusts. So hopefully that helps, and I'll put out another video next week and go with a different topic. Again, Master Gary Hernandez, if you haven't had an opportunity, please subscribe to the channel and I'll be putting these out every week and hopefully they help somebody. If you already have a lot of experience with the cane, great. If, this, if you don't need this, that's fine. This is there for people that want to learn something different that maybe hasn't learned it yet or is just brand new with the cane or maybe just a refresher. I'm still learning myself. And Gary Hernandez and thank you.